everybody! Red 60 version 2021 is available and brings a ton lot of new features. Today I will show you my top 5 new features. So let's do it! Hey, did you ever wonder how you get things done? Here at my channel, we are looking at workflows, how you get from starting with a point cloud to an end deliverable through registration and into Cyclone 3DR and our software products. All right, today I want to show you the latest version of Red 60 2021 and the best five updates. Number one, merging projects. Merging projects is really great, particularly if you have very large projects. Typically, we would want to split projects floor by floor and register them individually to get them from start to finish as quick as possible. A lot of times we also want to get it all together, so the new feature we can now split our project easily and bring them later together, so that we streamline our projects. Number. Two. Number two is Red60 version 20.1 is now able to hold a large project data size for up to 2000 scan data. That's amazing and we can now use Red60 even for more heavier and bigger projects to get through. So combining this with a merging tool, this is awesome. Number three, undo and redo. <laughs> if you have a link which you didn't want or you do something, now you can reverse it or you can bring it back very easily and this will help a lot of you. So I told you I have the five best features on Red60, but if you stick around till to the end, I will give you another bonus. Okay, let's continue with number four. Number four is importing images afterwards. So when you're having data captured with images, now you can choose during the import to say you want to import the images directly or once you import the data without the images, you can import it afterwards. This one, this one saves you a ton of time when you want to get from the point cloud and want to start drawing your data up and want to need to leave later as deliverable the colorized point cloud. Stream up your data with the new feature importing images when you need it. We got asked to get another feature into it and I hope many of you will really like it. Number five. Number five is decimating point cloud at the end of the export. So when you finish the registration, normally you import, exported all of your data condensed, which keeps all of your data in one. Now, if you want to get a smaller, you want to reduce the file size, want to, uh, you want to get less points overall your point cloud, now you can do it with decimating your point cloud. Typically around your scan setup, this is where you have the closest data to you, where most of very dense points are. So here we can reduce the points, for example, to half a millimeter, one centimeter, and this one allows you to reduce a lot of the data overall in your project, or even more to have smaller file sizes. It's my point cloud. This will be great. Mm -hmm. 
As promised, here we go. Now you heard from me the five top features which I find personally streamline your workflow with registering your data and get to the point cloud as quick as possible. But one more, a bonus one. The bonus one is with regards to the BLK2Go. The BLK2Go, our handheld mobile mapping device, we got, already got the new firmware version 2.0 and now with the new Red 60 version, we have further improvement of the data. And we have another little cool feature, which is the Vauxhall filter. Vauxhall filter. What is doing? Now we have an option to import the data as we captured it. Normally, when we move along, we can get as much data when we move slower or we get less data when we move faster. Now, this one gives a little bit spaghetti view of the data. Now we have with this new filter two options, one with a low density and one with a high density. What it's doing, imagine you have many points around you and then imagine you have a little square and in the square you have many points. Now we'll look into the center point or the close one to the center and use this one to represent it. This one will make your point cloud with the, from the BLK to go look more like terrestrial data. So try it out, give it a go, you will be fascinated. Well done, we went through all of the five best features which I can think of now. There are many more, I will show them over the next videos in little episodes. I hope you really liked it, you learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and then have a look at this video here about the BLK to go on how to register your data and get some more tips and tricks with the data. I hope to see you next time. Till then, bye.